Well, hi, this is uh, Chase Swift, and you're here because you probably have done a search for how do I get a Google phone number for free. Well, there are instructions which I will include in the description of this video, which means they will be just under this video. You may have to click to see more, but uh, I can post those, and you can also search for them. But I should say that some people like m seeing and following step by step exactly how to get a Google phone number for free. And I have a video that I've highlighted on this webpage, and you can search for it uh, very easily for Google Voice Tutorial. It'll be the top video on that page. And uh, let me just show you a little more details about this video. Now I did it uh, almost two years ago it has been very popular, as you can see. Um, I've gone and gotten over 355,000 views in a little over two years. And the reason is because I go through actually getting a Google Voice number, and I go through and I show you, and you can see me, and you can hear what happens. Um, when I get a Google Voice number, or you can leave voicemail, and I, I, I just go through most of the setup so you can see that. So I would encourage you to look for that video, and I will leave the link to that video also in the description. Now, one of the ways I use Google Voice is for a small business from home. But other ways you could use Google Voice, let's say you're a mom or a parent, and you want your kids to be able to call you uh, using one number, and that way Google Voice will... Uh, you can preset this up under phones and you can set it up to call, let's say, a cell phone, uh, a work phone, uh, maybe even a neighbor, uh, possibly. Uh, you could do as many, but just think of um, the value of uh, a child uh, maybe has a cell phone or whatever. They have one number to call and it, and it can call several phones. If there's ever a concern or an emergency, uh, Google Voice could help facilitate that. Now, that's one example. There are many. Now, I should point out, you also have to live physically in the United States, which I do. I live in Colorado. Now, one of the other things is you can record numerous greetings. Now, I have one, as I mentioned, for my uh, home-based business. And I'm going to go ahead and hit play so you can listen to that. And you can, you can have several greetings for different callers. In other words, if um, your brother and your mom call, they'll hear one message. But if someone new calls, they'll hear a different message. So it's very cool. Let me go ahead and hit play, and I'll just play this. Well, hi, this is Chase Swift, and I'm not able to answer your call right now. But please leave me a voicemail message of any link, and I will get back to you right away. If you are interested in earning an extra income online from home, feel free to visit my website and get the necessary information to make an educated decision at www.chaseswift.com. Thanks for calling and leave me a message. And you can even send me a text as well to this number. Bye for now. So there you have it, a nice uh, greeting that you can put in there. Um, and like I said, Google Voice is free. Um, you can also use it for people to text you. And even uh, you can even call from your computer. So that way you're not tying up your phone. I find that very helpful when I can call. And I just click on there on call. Um, it'll call numbers in the United States or Canada for free. And sometimes I, if I ever have to be on a conference call, <clears throat> pardon me, if I ever have to be on a conference call, I don't want to tie up my cell phone for maybe an hour. I can use Google Voice to call the conference line, and then I can listen through my computer. I can step away. I can mute myself uh, so as not to disturb anyone on the call. It's really nice. I can also send a text Okay, so it can send a text message. This will be to anyone in the United States or to Canada. You just type in the number and then put in the message. Now, if it's in your Google Voice,
contacts or your Gmail contacts, you can just type their name and it'll automatically fill in their cell phone or you can just enter in the cell phone. So there's a couple of uh, features and kind of good reasons why to have a Google Voice. I love it. Um, if you have any questions and I, if I haven't further you know, completely answered your questions. Um, look at the Google Voice tutorial. It's a really good video. I think about 300 and some odd views a day. So a lot of people are watching and I get great comments. I do answer the comments. So if you're looking and you can't get answers, typically I can answer those for you. I love Google and Google Voice, uh, Gmail and YouTube. So I've been doing this for a number of years. I may not know every answer, but I do try very hard and try to answer your uh, questions. Make sure you have a good password that you remember it. If you have two-step verification on your Gmail, that's a very good security thing to do, but make sure you have a good backup phone, that you have a good password and all that type of thing. Because if you lose your password, it's really challenging sometimes to get it back because it was eight months ago when you created it or something like that. Anyway, I hope this video has helped and I encourage you to get a Google Voice uh, number. They're free. You have to live in the U.S., but they're awesome. Have a great day and if you like this video, give me a like. And uh, if you're curious about my business, it's global and it's just a one-time fee to join. It's uh, about the price for going out to dinner with your spouse or a friend. It's very inexpensive. There are no ongoing fees. Uh, I think you'll love it. And I have three videos that explain it uh, when you go to my website, chaseswift.com. Anyway, I uh, hope this video helps. Have a great day, and we'll see you uh, on the next video, especially if you subscribe. Bye for now.